How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we have another battle with the Ice Skew team. Hopefully it goes well. If you want to try the team out, use the code at the top right corner of the screen. There's also a copy and paste in the description down below. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And with that being said, let's jump into the team preview. Okay, today we have a battle versus Raymond from the Discord server. Go ahead and join the Discord server. It's the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles right now. There is a link in the description down below. Looking at his team, we've got a good hail team. So we've got a Titan and a Bomber Snow and a Boss Stiff, Avalug, Blissey, and a Veluza. Is it Veluza or Veluva? Veluva. I think it's Veluva. Gotta watch out for that thing's fillet away. Because that's basically Shell Smash, but it cuts your health instead of lowering your defenses, which is pretty threatening to be honest with you. So I think what we do here is we expect the Bomber Snow lead. And what we could do is we could take advantage of the hail thanks to ice use no fate, no ice. And um, they have a lot of physical attackers on there. Avalog, Mavostiv, the Titan, and Obama Snow pretty much. And the Veluza is a physical attacker as well. We could definitely set up on those things. So we've got to be careful. But we have got a lot of momentum that we could do. So I might lead off with Belly Ball again. I might lead off with Arcanine straight up to be honest with you. Um, and what we'll do is we'll try and catch something off guard with the Zoroark. I'm thinking the Avalog, so I might just go with the Reverum. No, the Altaria is the last Pokemon. And the battle begins. So Raymond over there is going to lead off with Blue Yeti, the Snow Frolicker. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. Um, it's not blue, though. <laughs> We led off with the Arcanine, of course, so we're in a very good position right now. They're going to get the snow up, which is going to boost their defenses, but I, I, I do not care. Flare Blitz is going to hurt something on this team, so I'm going to go for... Do I go for Flare Blitz or do I expect them boss stiff intimidate and go for a close combat? I think that's probably the better option, right? Because close... No, let's go for a Flare Blitz straight off the bat. Um, they do withdraw the Obama Snow. What are they going to go into, though? Veluza? Probably Veluza. Nurse Joy the Blissey. Oh, no. Oh no, the recoil is going to be immense. The recoil is going to be immense, as it doesn't even KO. Look at that recoil. That's crazy damage. Crazy damage. So Arcanine is basically screwed at this point. Um, but we do have an option here. Um, this thing is probably going to go for some special attacks. Maybe a Thunderbolt or something like that. So we could go into the Belly Bolt and go from there. They probably go for a Soft Bolt, actually expecting us to switch. But I'm not. I'm going to go for another Flare Blitz. Um, they do withdraw Nurse Joy. What are they going to go into this time? Are they going to go into the Veluza? Titanic. That's the uh, Avalug, definitely. Avalug comes in. It's so small. As we go for a Flare Blitz, and that's going to do a lot of damage to this thing as well, which is great. Recoil is going to add up, but it's fine. As uh, they are not Rocky Helmet, which is great. So we're going to go for another Flare Blitz here. We're just basically punching holes in their teams, weakening them down. Getting rid of the Avalug straight away is going to be really important uh, later on down the line. Um, I can tell. Um, although, Avalug was one of the Pokemon we could have set up Ice Q on, so... Unfortunately, we're not going to get that. In comes Oreo. So, Oreo comes in. That is going to be the Satitan. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I'm actually going to save my Arcanine for later, and I'm going to use this opportunity to go into something else. Um, I'm thinking about going into the um, Neum or the Altaria. I don't know what they're going to go for, though, so they could go for an EQ... Might go into no, uh, Ice Q, because Ice Q basically walls this thing in the snow. Ice Q walls this thing in the snow, because snow obviously keeps the Ice Q's uh, no ice coming up, so we can definitely wall this thing, no problem. So we'll go into Ice Q real quick. There we go, nice and shiny. They go for an Ice Shard. It's going to break our Ice Face, but it's absolutely fine, because the snow is going to build it right back up, um, as, as you'll see in a second. Or not. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Huh. I really thought that was how that worked. Um, I guess not. Let's go for a Terra Blast. Do I want to terrestrialize with this thing? Yeah, why not? Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's terrestrialize real quick. So we'll terrestrialize real quick into a fighting type, and we'll go straight for that nice and powerful Terra Blast. Um, it should do a lot of damage to the Titan. It won't KO, but you know what? Uh, ice you with its no ice is not actually that bad. Um, to be honest with you, does Hail not work like that anymore with no ice? Or am I misreading it? We go for a Terra Blast. There we go. Should do a lot of damage to the Titan. I know it is in the snow, so it's going to have a boosted physical defense, but it does a third of its health, which is quite good. As they go for a superpower, which is going to do minimal damage to us, because it's no longer super effective for a start, um, as it's going to get a lower defense. So we get a Citrus Berry Pop, which is nice. There we go. Which is great, actually. That's absolutely great. The snow does stop. 
And um, we can definitely take this thing out of a Terror Blast now. There's nothing on their team that wants to switch in, really. So let's go for the Terror Blast real quick and take this thing out. They're actually going to terrestrialize their um, Titan. I stuttered then when I said that. And they're going to go into a what type? A water type. Interesting. So they're going to go for that liquidation more than likely. Terror Blast should still do a lot of damage. Just purely for the fact that um, they've got the defense drop. And they no longer have the ice uh, boosting their uh, defense stat either. Um, as that nearly takes it out, which is absolutely amazing. They go for a liquidation. After an attack drop, though, I don't think that KOs. It doesn't KO. It doesn't KO. Ice Q is standing strong. Ice Q is standing strong right now. We'll go for a Terra Blast again. As they go for an Ice Shard, that's definitely going to take us out, unfortunately. Um, we knew that was going to happen, though. I love how the hat was just sitting on top of Ice Q's little hair. That's so cool. <laughs> so cool. So, anyway. Um, what we can do now is we can go into anything we want. Um, we can go into the Arcanine and go for that nice powerful extreme speed. It's going to do a lot of damage to something else on the team. And um, we can go into Zoroark if we really want to. I'm, I'm actually thinking of going Rev Room. Because the Rev Room doesn't really have the best switch-ins in the world. We could also go Belly Bolt if we really wanted to and go for a Volt Switch. I think that's actually a good idea. Um, no, let's go for the Zoroark. No, let's go for the Arcanine and go for the Extreme Speed. Let's go for the Extreme Speed. So they don't have a Stealth Rocker on the team, which is always nice. Although they could, the Blissey could have Stealth Rocks, actually. So that's... Ignore me on that one. I'm gonna go straight for the extreme speed now, and that should definitely finish off the Titan. I think they just let it go down here. They do withdraw the Oreo though. What are they gonna go into? Blue Yeti, the uh, Snow Frolicker. That's a really cool. That's really cool. That you've got the Snow Frolicker bit on there. That's really cool. So anyway, starts to snow. Unfortunately, we go for extreme speed. It's gonna do minimal damage to the um, uh, the uh, Bomber Snow, which is fine. Probably can expect an Ice Shard or something here. So I'm going to go into Rev Room because Rev Room does kind of wall it. And we don't have to worry about Rev Room being transformed into a uh, Zoroark or anything like that at the moment. Because Altaria is our Zoroark switching. So and that's fine. They go for an Aurora Veil. Not good at all. That's definitely not good at all. Um, as we can just go straight for a Gunk Shot here. I think Gunk Shot is the good play. Yeah, Gunk Shot's definitely the better play here. So they do withdraw Blue Yeti. Are they going to go into the Blissey? Probably the Blissey, right? Best boy. That's going to be the Mabostiff, right? Is it going to be Intimidate? It's not Intimidate. We go for a Gunk Shot. It should still do a solid amount of damage as we get a crit and a poison. Oh, dear. Hax is not on my opponent's side this time as it was just enough health to let the poison take it out. That is unfortunate right there. But what can you do about Hax? Son of a Hax. Son of a hack. So that is really unfortunate for my opponent, I've got to say. In comes Nurse Joy. So Nurse Joy comes on in. I don't know whether Nurse Joy can take a gunk shot. So I'm going to try it anyway and see what happens. We go for the gunk shot. Let's see if it takes it out. It nearly takes it out. As we get the poison again. <laughs> oh my lord. They go for a stealth rock. That's going to success it's going to successfully KO the uh, <laughs> Arcanine, unfortunately. I mean, he just put G's in the chat. I'm going to put damn, yeah. That's unfortunate. So, uh, let, let, Poison isn't going to take this thing out. Um, I don't think from there. Oh, it does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Down goes the Blissey. Oh, no. But it's fine. They could easily pull this back with the Veluza, to be honest with you. Um, they could definitely pull it back with Filio Fish. So, in comes the Filio Fish over there. Um, absolutely fine. Um, we can let this thing set up on us. It's no problem. What's, what's my switch in here? I'd probably go Arcanine, right? Probably go Arcanine. Yeah, let's go Arcanine. We'll go Arcanine, sack it off. Um, let them set up if they want to. Then we bring Zoroark in, who's disguised as an Altaria. And they're probably thinking, Altaria. Oh, no. Stealth Rocks are going to reveal it. Stealth Rocks are going to reveal it, aren't they? Stealth Rocks are going to reveal it. They go for the Philly away. Making them back down to their bare bones, minimal, whatever it is. So their attack, special attack, and their speed is going to raise sharply right now. But they do lose health. Snow is going to stop. I'm going to go into Zoroark now. Hopefully they expect it to be the Cotton Ball. And um, hopefully they don't notice the Stealth Rocks. That the Stealth Rocks didn't do nearly as much damage as it should do. So let's go for a Sucker Punch real quick. And hopefully we can get the KO here. Sucker Punch comes through. Down. Oh no, he lived! They lived as they have a berry as well, which is going to recover a good chunk of their health. Damn. 
Psycho Cut's gonna... Oh, no, they didn't realize it was an Zoroark. They didn't realize it was Zoroark. Let's go for the Sucker Punch again. They're gonna go for another Filet Away, aren't they? They're gonna go for another Filet Away. They do, but they can't go for it. They can't go for it. Um, what's our what's our fallback on this? So, they're only a plus two. We do have the Altaria, which is physically defensive. I'm going to go for another Sucker Punch this turn. Um, it's not going to work because I'm going to keep going for the Filet away. But I'm going to go for it all the way through. I'm just going to stick to the Sucker Punch. I think that's the best play to go for is to stick to the Sucker Punch because they're going to run out of these eventually. As there we go. Sucker Punch Mind Games, and we actually won for once. That's that's crazy. So but down goes the Veluza, which is fair enough. Absolutely great for us. Absolutely great for us, as the team's Aurora Veil is going to wear off. And that's why the Sucker Punch didn't KO, because of the Aurora Veil. Of course, I forgot about... I always forget about the Aurora Veil. <laughs> I always forget about it. Always. So anyway, this thing comes in. We just go for another Sucker Punch, right? The battle was cancelled. They've lost because of the Obama Snow. And there was a bit of hacks on my side, but that was a pretty fun game anyway. We got to show off how powerful Zoroark can be. Um, but damn, yeah, GG um, Raymond, that was pretty fun, uh, pretty fun. So thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.